Hi, thanks for watching this video today. My name is Kristen Wom, and I support the marketing team for both JobSite and Standby. And uh, Becky sends her hellos, she couldn't be here today. Um, but what we're really excited to do with this video is give you a pre-introduction to a great new tool that we're gonna be launching at ARA. And what this tool is called is the Power Portal. Why this tool is so important to our business is because it's a one-stop shop for both you as our sales reps, but also our customers to be able to access really important information that helps streamline their business. Um, the Power Portal is a tool that we've used on the Briggs & Stratton side for many years, um, and it's become a great place to house uh, warranty information, marketing information, videos, training materials, um, important links, digital assets like images and photography. Um, so we're really excited to um, build this site out. And what I'm going to show you today is a little bit bare bones because we're still trying to feverishly um, complete uh, populating the site before we get to ARA. But we just really feel like it's important to give you an overview of this tool before you're at the pre-show meeting and then the show itself. Um, there will be a lot of collateral and conversation at the show about this tool. So hopefully you can take uh, this video, maybe watch it one or two times, get comfortable with it so that once we go over it at the pre-show meeting, when you're on the floor at the show, you uh, feel very comfortable talking to your customers about it. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to the computer screen and I'm going to walk you through um, how to get to the site and navigate it. Um, so when you go to um, your browser of choice, um, the way to get to the website is the power portal.com. Okay, so when you go to log into the Power Portal, the screen looks like this, um, and you'll all be sent a login. So once you get that information, um, it'll be an email that's sent directly to you. You'll take that login information and the password that's sent to you and enter it here. Um, so I'll go ahead and enter mine. And then you just hit login and it'll take you directly into the portal. You will notice when, when I'm logged in, because I have access to our Briggs & Stratton engine business, power products, and standby business, um, your customers won't have access to these tabs. So they will only see um, the Almond brand here and then all the information that's accessible to them. I do want to let you know that we are um, in the final phases of loading this site. So when we do officially launch at ARA, there will be quite a bit more information in here, but we wanted to get this training out to you as soon as possible. Um, so bear with me as we kind of talk through um, what we're going to have available to us. Um, because I have access as both a customer and an employee, I do also see a few other things that our customers won't. I do want to point out, you'll see down here the quote tool. You all as reps will have access to the quote tool, but your customers will not. Um, we set everyone up under different profiles so that we can um, offer or hide uh, relevant information as necessary. Um, so if you were to click on the quote tool, it'll take you directly to the Almond Sales quote tool that you're all very familiar with. Um, and once you've, uh, if you're on your own computer, it would uh, automatically log you into that quote tool. So that's just a quick and simple way um, to be able to access this um, through the portal. The other thing that we're going to have available to all, um, both reps and customers, will be our video library. So when you click on that link, there will be a wealth of assets in here to be able to learn about our products, um, maybe if they've got new team members that they want to have them walk through uh, the various products that we offer, some of the troubleshooting, maintenance, how-tos, those will all live within this portal. So it's a really great place for a one-stop shop. The other important thing will be uh, warranty information. So there are links to our standard warranty procedure and also the warranty policy. Um, this is really important, especially if, if customers are new to our systems. Um, they've got everything here to help them navigate. Uh, we have a how to read your serial number, again, extremely important when you're filing warranty claims. And then some FAQs, and we'll grow this page um, as we get more information. 
uh, or more questions from our customers. And then there is the warranty claim form that they can click and that will um, give them a digital form to be able to file a warranty claim. So that's a great, a great tool. We do have user documentation that is searchable by model number. Um, so based off of uh, the various uh, based off of the various products that your customers have, they can go in here and they can search for which category they're looking for. Uh, click on that item and then do a search for the model number um, or uh, look at the various files that are in here. The important thing about this is that we're not going to have uh, old documentation out here because these manuals are all linked to our internal systems. So the second a manual is updated, it's automatically pushed to this site. That's very important um, just to make sure that there aren't old versions um, out on various sites or various locations. Everything's going to be the most up to date. One of the folders that you don't currently see in here um, will be a marketing folder. So within that marketing folder will live all of our um, spec sheets, marketing collateral that's all downloadable. Um, that's really great if you do a lot of your business through um, using a tablet or a laptop, you can you know, save it in your iBooks or whatever um, PDF reader that you use on your tablet. Um, so you could download spec sheets. Again, they're going to be um, updated very frequently if there's any changes. So this will be kind of the main hub to get the latest and greatest. Um, we'll also have in that marketing folder a link to be able to access all of our um, digital assets. So logos, images, uh, product lifestyle, photography, um, videos, things of that nature that can be used for marketing or advertising. Um, so that's going to be really important. And then the last thing that will be linked in that marketing folder when we get it up will be a brand new custom marketing site that we're going to be launching in the next couple of weeks as well. Um, that custom marketing site will be a place where you can order um, spec sheets um, printed up in packs of 25, 50, 100, 200, um, any of the brochures, any of those um, customer support materials. Both you and your customers can um, go into the site as a self-serve to be able to order any collateral or support materials, which includes um, uh, banners, tablecloths, uh, pop-ups if you've got uh, little shows coming up or displays that you need. So we're uh, feverishly working on that process as well. The other thing that I wanted to call out is, you know, how do we get all of our customers access to the site? Um, because uh, we're not fully integrated with a CRM system, it is going to be a little bit manual, but we are going to rely on you guys to really help us target those key customers to get them in here first. And what they'll do is from your um, browser, you will type in the powerportal.com backslash almond. And that will bring your customers to a, a registration form. So um, our team is working on this form actually today, so the fields aren't accurate here, but there will be a welcome. It will explain to the customers um, to fill out this application, we're basically calling it, an, calling it an application because we do have to verify that our actual customers are the ones requesting logins. Um, so that will require a little bit of uh, back and forth between our team and you all. Um, so it'll just welcome them, thank them for filling out the application, and then sets the expectations that it will take a couple of weeks for verification, but they will receive an email once approved that will have their login information. So the fields that will be on this sheet uh, will be the business name, um, the contact first and last name, the contact email address, the contact phone number, and then I have asked them to fill out um, sales rep if known. Again, that'll just help us dial in who to talk to to validate that they are a customer. And then there will be an, an open notes field. Um, I'm sure that if a customer goes in here directly, they'll just leave that open. Um, but if you're sitting down with your customer and helping them apply, um, please take a second to um, include any relevant information that'll help us narrow down very quickly that they are an actual customer. Even if it's just a quick note that says, 
you know, hey, this is uh, my customer. We're, I know we're building up to getting um, unique customer keys that we call a DDM. So if you happen to have that information, include that or anything else that helps us identify um, very quickly how to approve this customer um, just so that they can get approved as fast as possible. All right, so that was a really brief overview. Um, again, you might have to watch that video once or twice just to feel like you kind of understand the concept. Um, we will be emailing out login information um, so that you all have your individual logins to be able to get in and click around and get comfortable in the tool. Um, if you have any questions about the tool, um, please let Becky or Dave Jones uh, know so that they can filter that information in and we can take care of it. But also going forward, if you've got ideas of, hey, this would be a great thing to include on the site, you know, bring that to, bring that to us as well so that we can um, put that into the site just to make your jobs easier and your customers' lives a little bit easier. Um, you may not have my um, contact information, um, so it is wam dot c-h-r-i-s-t-i-n at b-a-s-c-o dot com. So that's wam dot kristen at basco dot com. And we'll, we'll happy to take care of uh, any requests and make sure that we can make this site a really useful tool going forward. Thanks for your time and we'll see you at ARA.